Hi, I'm Andy. I'm one of the co-founders here at Modable, and I'm doing this webinar today to introduce you to the examples folder in the Modable SDK. We're going to begin right here at modable.com, and the way that we get to the GitHub repository is by clicking on this link up here in the top right that says Modable on GitHub. And when we go in here, you'll see kind of all the important parts of the Modable SDK, including a readme that walks you through everything that we do and uh, how to work with the platform. It's broken up into a build directory, documentation, examples, modules, tools, and the XS uh, JavaScript engine. And while today we're gonna to be focusing on the examples folder, I do wanna show you kind of how to find things in the repository real quick and how the kind of parallel structure of the repository works. So while you're poking around in here, looking at examples, imagine that you found a BLE example that you liked, which is here under Modable Examples Network BLE. If you wanted to find the documentation that goes with these examples or the source code that implements these uh, features of the platform, you find them following a, a similar sort of path. So if we wanted to find the documentation, we would go back to Modable and then go to Documentation Network BLE. And similarly, if we wanted to find the implementation of those modules, we would go to Modable Modules Network BLE. And that way, as you're working through each of these examples here in the uh, Modable SDK, you can see how they're implemented and how to use them. Going into the examples themselves, we can start with a very basic example, Hello World. This simply breaks into the debugger, whether you're running on a simulator or on a target device, uh, goes into XSBug, and then when you hit resume there, it traces one line of text out to the console. One step more complicated, we have the base examples. So these show off kind of basic low-level platform features things like sleep on microcontrollers or implementations of timers uh, to do recurring or scheduled tasks. Uh, those live in the, the base folder. And there are a lot of these kind of uh, modable SDK platform features that are implemented in modules and then shown off with corresponding examples. So for example, the, the crypt and files directories here uh, contain examples on using the cryptographic features of the Modable SDK and working with files and preferences in the Modable SDK, respectively. Uh, so you can dig in there and, and see how each of those things works. Um, a little bit more complicated, we have the pins examples. So each of these is an example of how one different pin type works within the Modable SDK. Uh, so these are hardware pins, things like analog inputs, audio inputs, uh, digital input and output buttons and blinking LEDs, uh, PWM controls for servos. All of those things live here uh, in the, the pins examples. So if you want to get started controlling a very basic hardware device, uh, this is where you could go to learn how to do that. Uh, if you have a more complicated kind of composite hardware device, you might want to take a look at the example drivers. So these are examples that use modules that we have implemented to interact with hardware devices, uh, kind of complicated composite devices. So for an example here, we have the TMP-102 app that lets you work with the TMP-102 temperature sensor module. Uh, similarly, we have cameras, uh, humidity sensors, pressure sensors, and a lot of these are actually uh, screens. So screens and uh, touch drivers that work with those screens. So things like the SSD 1306 and the XPT 2046, which happens to be the touch controller that we use uh, on the Model Zero. So if you're working with a new piece of hardware and you want to learn how to, to make it work, this would be a great place to start. You can see how you kind of go from a data sheet to a JavaScript example using the, uh, the driver's examples. 
Next up, uh, we have what we actually do with all of those screens, which is the Commodetto Graphics API. So this is our kind of low-level uh, graphics rendering API for doing uh, bitmap images, squares, text, things like that uh, on a screen. And some of my favorite examples in here include the, uh, the clock, the uh, text ticker example, different ways of rendering to the screen and uh, displaying information. So that all lives in Commodetto. One step more complicated is Pew. Pew is our user interface composition framework uh, that lets you build kind of complicated, modern IoT user interfaces uh, within the model SDK. The kind of classic example here is the Balls app, which shows uh, just bouncing balls off the side of a screen at full frame rate. But uh, perhaps more compelling from a user interface composition standpoint, we have the cards example, uh, the drag example, which shows off actually interacting with a touch controller to move elements on the screen. Uh, the keyboard example shows how you can kind of combine the touch controller and the user interface hierarchy to do user input uh, using Pew and the Model SDK. And all of these different examples here show off you know, the possibilities of using the Model SDK on these tiny you know, resource-constrained microcontrollers. Back out here into the examples, one last folder that I want to walk you through is the network folder. So a lot of what we do in the Model SDK uh, and with the Model SDK is interacting with other devices and with the cloud. And all of that lives within the uh, networking examples. So we have very basic low-level examples showing things like raw sockets uh, or how to use SNTP, uh, Telnet, uh, et cetera building up to your more complicated uh, protocols and services that communicate between devices. So things like web things uh, or MDNS show off how you might uh, have two different devices running the model SDK communicate with each other uh, to build kind of multi-device examples. Uh, similarly, we have the uh, HTTP folder, which shows off how to get and post and uh, interact with servers and host your own servers on devices using HTTP. And then services, which shows off how to work with cloud services for posting data and for uh, working with the cloud in general. So we have PubNub, uh, Adafruit IO, and Twilio in there. And then the last kind of big chunk of networking examples are the BLE examples. So these each show off different features of the model SDK's BLE stack um, and how you could use it with, for example, an ESP32 to do things like BLE beacons or to interact with health thermometers or to talk to uh, mice and keyboards and other HID Bluetooth devices. So that's all in here. Uh, and you can take a look at each of those examples and try them out on a, an ESP32. And with that, I would encourage you to go and try as many of these examples as you can on your own. We have more than 150 examples in the Modable repository, and you can try each of them on a Modable Zero or on a platform of your choice. Uh, one thing that's worth checking out is here in the Modable Examples folder, there's a README, and that gives you good instructions on how to build the apps, uh, all the different target platforms you can work with, and how to do the deployment process. So go out and give it a shot on your own and let us know. Uh, if you have any troubles, uh, open up an issue on GitHub. And if you have success with this, reach out to us on Twitter and show us something cool that you built. Thank you.